How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Listen, we're back out here at this Champion Grader. We're going to put some Marvel Mystery Oil in it, try to get this thing unstuck, and then see if we can't get it. At least, uh, if we can get it unstuck, we probably got a chance of getting it fired up. Oh, yeah. Up. It's going to crank when we unstick it. I, I believe you're right. Less jawing, more sawing. Wait a minute. That don't, that's not appropriate. Less jawing, more, less talking, more wrenching. You're going to have to dig yourself out of this one. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Start loosening up everything before we start pull everything apart. I'm just covering this in liquid wrench. I do a little more research on what everything come, is that needs to come off, but I'm just, every bolt that I can see that's related to the head, I'm just gonna remove. It just comes off. I remember that part. Ow. Thank you, kind sir. Oh yeah. She's a beaut, Clark. This is what we're dealing with, fellas. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this valve cover off, dump some Marvel Mystery Oil down into the cylinders, give it a couple days, come back and start working on it. What do you think? Well, I say let's take the valve cover off, of course, and let's pop the injectors out. Yeah. And that way you can get right on top of them. I agree, 100%. I think I'm right. Yeah, you're always I right. guess you'll go through the... I'm not a mechanic, but I think if you pour it on top, it'll drip through the... The rings. And, oh, and that, get, yeah. And, and gotcha. get there anyway. We'll see when we pour it, we can tell. All right, we got the valve cover off, and look, there's a dead bug inside the, on top of the head here. Yeah, so I, yeah, I agree with you now that I got a better look at it. Wiley, we should probably take the injectors out, pour it down through there. That way we ain't got to like retorque the head bolts. And like you start taking these big bolts out, Right here, there's some torque specs that go with that that we don't know about, you know? Well, it looks to me like you got to take... The rack off? Yeah. And see, that's free, so we know it won't run away. Hey, listen, people are like, that thing's going to run away on you. That yeah. thing went stuck, stuck mm. like Chuck, man. All right, so let's go uh, take this out, and then we'll get the uh, Marvel Mystery Oil and pour in it. Uh -huh. Now, I know a lot of people have seen trash in there, but what we do for we spin it over, maybe we bring back a vacuum and try to clean that out best we can. Yeah. Because I know we got dirt in there and there's, uh, couldn't help it. Yeah, I didn't think to bring one today. I got one at the house, so I'll bring it. I think by. we just need to let that sit on there. We can move it around a little bit since we're here. Yeah. And try to let it work through there. Uh, let it, you know. Right, sure. Move it around. Okay. But I think we got on top of all four pistons with this right. With that much, we use the whole bottle. Well, that's good, though. I mean, that's why we need 32 ounces of the Marvel Mystery Oil here. Okay, we got the Mystery Oil down into the cylinders, but we may have another uh, technique, I guess you would say. I talked to my friend Scott over at Bus Grease Monkey, who is the resident Detroit diesel expert, and he told me that sometimes you could take this blower cover off and you'll see a rat has built a nest in there and your, your engine may not be locked up at night because if this is stuffed up somehow or another, then you can't get, the engine won't turn. And so he was explaining sometimes he will stuff shop rags in here to actually be able to torque like crankshaft bolts and stuff. Because if, yet, if that's clogged, the engine won't turn. So hopefully it's an easy fix. Man, that, wouldn't that be something, Wally? Well, in all fairness, you had a viewer comment earlier on that. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about the blower, all that. Okay. So let's see. That don't look too clogged, does it? No, but you always look and see. Is that supposed to be slanted like that? Yeah, that's the way they work in it. Okay. I ain't never seen the internal workings of one. Stick your finger in there one more time. <laughs> See if you turn over. Yeah. It ain't acting like it wants to do nothing. It ain't budged. We've been in that barn. Let's try it the other way, Hank. There it goes. No, it ain't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've been in the barn. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I have my crescent wrench right there. Why are you going to get that one for? Well, I didn't even think about that thing here. <laughs> Is my crescent wrench not good enough? It's not a crestology? All right. Yeah, a little heavy. 
<clears throat> See, I just think that thing's on the... You join in there with the bigger stick now? Let's do this. It's turning pretty easy. Right. one man, too. You ain't got a marker or stick. Yeah, it, I got a marker. Hold on. Wiley says, I think that thing's turning. I said, no, I think it's just coming off the ring gear. You know, breaking loose. And he says, no, that thing's turning. I saw it turn, sure enough. Oh, yeah, for sure it's turning. Man, I wish I could get a close-up of that. I, I, I wish you'd just help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're good. And, yeah, oh, look, the, the blower's turning, too. Yep. Oh, wow. You're making me nervous right. now, honey. Hey, listen, I'm going to get up here and do the, see the lifters. Oh, yeah, I see that. I'll right. we'll see that red, red mark come back around. Come on, red. Oh, yeah, she be like the children of Israel right now, dude. Set my people free. Or was it let my people go? Oh, there's a red mark coming. See that red mark? Yeah. I'm going to have to edit out all your heavy breathing. This is a friend, <laughs> family friendly channel. Family friendly channel. <laughs> We think we've gotten it to the uh, not so tight spot, the loose spot, I guess you'd say. And uh, so we're gonna put everything back together. All right, we run into a little snag. We're gonna run, get some batteries. We'll be back. That'll take us about 45 minutes. It'll take you about. All right, we have made it back, brought some batteries. And now we're gonna cobble together some Hamilton Villa Farm special <laughs> battery connections. While Wiley's over here getting all the accessories for the batteries, we're still waiting for somebody to submit a really cool, it's making oil t-shirt design. That'd be cool to get a t-shirt made that says it's making oil. If you want to buy some Hamiltonville Farm t-shirts, there's a link down below that says Hamiltonville Farm t-shirts and more, and it's a uh, farm focused. You can buy some t-shirts from us. Wiley, I'm not sure it's got any fuel in it. Well, I'm not either. We're going to see if it'll spin over before we go buy them. That high. <laughs> Before we need to take out a loan to get some fuel for it. One of the commenters says he had AAA and run out of gas, and AAA totaled the car because of. Because <laughs> he ran out of gas. <laughs> yeah, the tank of gas yeah. worth more than the total yeah. car. Yeah, I believe it. Cobble in together in my starter button. Hold it down if it spins. Go ahead, bro. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is that on tight? Yeah, something is not right at all. It's grounded. Is that grounded? I mean, it's, the starter's grounded. No, it's not. You said you weren't gonna do that. <laughs> not there. right. All right, fired it. Hey, hey! <laughs> hmm. That's what happened to that. So, over there. Ready? Yep. <laughs> That's great, man. That's great, dude. If we, if you had brought some fuel, this thing's making fuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hold it. Yeah. It ain't pretty though. Look. Yeah. That's all it had. Oh, that's it. It made a little. It slam out. Yeah. What Wiley's doing is putting an electric fuel pump on it. That way we'll just bypass the. Well, we'll make sure we got fresh fuel. Yeah. We'll see if we can get by without filters or. Right. So right. let's go find some fuel. Let's do it. Will you see if you can turn that? See if that'll, cause that's the kill. Other way, come to me. Come to me. Okay, good. That's the shut off. All right. It's ready to go. It's off that way. Perfect. All right. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see. Let's see it. Light smoke. That move it? Hold on a sec. Let me look. No, sir. That's it, whatever you just hit. Okay. But it ain't moving it. It move it any? I mean, it just, not really. All right, let's see what that does. See if it helped any. That's right there on it, okay? Ready? Yeah. We're gonna fix a leak and then we're gonna crank it back up again. Well, Holly. No, you just, your fuel pump just went. Do it again. Do what again? Crank it, oh, okay. All right, ready? Oh. 
Oh, it's coming, yes, yeah, off the seam, of, or it's out of the, yeah. Hmm, that's all right. Let's just turn this off. We'll go another route. That's amazing, ain't it? That's crazy, that thing run, dude. It was running good, too. We're just gonna go straight out of the bucket, aren't we? Yeah. Did you push that start all the way back? Yeah, it's it's not cut off. You're, you're, there you go. Now, ready? Yep. It runs though, Wiley. It does. See if we can get it. Primed up. Yeah. Spin it over some. Well, it ain't, uh, it ain't stuck no more. It ain't stuck no more. Sorry, starter. <laughs> I'm just excited about it running, dude. Yeah. That was awesome. Would be more exciting if it moved. Yeah, this is true. Can't know. I don't know just exactly what that sensor is. Water and fuel sensor. Probably. If it was working, it would say there's water in here, <laughs> like a three quarter. I, I don't know. I might have had. I uh, fuel going to the wrong. Yeah, I might. That might have been the um, return. Yeah. May have been the return. No, that's, oh, it may be, yeah. This line right here, maybe. Let me try and see. Ooh, that's water. Lots of water. Lots of water. We'll do it like we did that Astro. Take it out, dump it out, and fill it full of fresh fuel. Yeah. Why are we always mess with stuff that's got water in it, Wiley? Because it's fun. <laughs> Oops. All right. A lot of water. All right. So I think you had the supply line right because it was running there. You know? No, to, yeah, there you go. I can see it. <laughs> oh, Wiley. <laughs> the engine whisperer. This is where it's going in and it's coming out. Where's that going? There's that where it's going in, it's coming out. I believe that's it, man. You All wanna right. put that other filter on? Yeah. Awesome, Wiley. Don't want shrap, no, I had to jump off.
All right, what's, what do you Let's think? just try something here and just see if I had the lines hooked up wrong. Okay, we'll try that. That's bad. That's Look at that water. That's pure water in it. My word. That's why it's filling back up with water, sucking that out of the tank. Mm -hmm. I bet you're right. Tried to tell you, Hank. Well, you know, you did. Wow. Now, if we could take the... Swapping those lines out? Yeah, if you take the screwdriver and loosen that clamp up, I'll hook it to this. All right. Sounds good. Wiley, that's insane. You wash your hands in that. So the water has stopped draining out of this one. This was the one that was, the pure water was coming out of, and it's turned into diesel now. So we're going to hook it up to this inlet here, and this was going to go back into it. So either way, I think we're good. That's either going to be the return back into the bucket, or this is, and this is going to feed it, or that's going to feed it, and the good gas is going to go into the tank. Hey, you're good either way, I think. We'll see. Yeah. she's done we were actually what you, what you see here see the pile of tools we were actually trying to clean it up to where we could try to make it go backwards or forward and stuff but i think we're i think we're gonna call it a day wiley let's do yeah i did see the mold board move a little bit when you was pulling that lever yeah this is awesome man this thing in the steiger video i talked about never having a locked up detroit but this one was locked up but we got it uh got it unstuck with a little bit of help and and persuasion there Good job, Wiley. You did good, buddy. All righty. Hey, listen, appreciate you guys watching. Check out our merchandise if you want to buy some of that stuff. And check out some of our other videos. We'd appreciate it. You guys take care. God bless.